MTB Wad no oh, I'm still right into the sun. Hey and welcome to MTB Wad number six. Today's wad for Tuesday is gonna be a upper body power uh, workout. So we're gonna be looking at moving dynamically with speed through the movements. Um, the main lift today is gonna be bench press, okay? So bench press obviously have a, has a lot of correlations across the mountain biking. Uh, we're gonna focus on building up a large capacity in the in the bench press. Um, not necessarily going for the biggest pecs out there, but the ability to do repeated reps and cycle through them well. Uh, we're going to look at the form today for that. Uh, do a quick warm up first, and then after that, we're going to do something extra special. We're going to do a 5k test. Uh, so that's going to be the Metcon for today. So let's get after it. So for the warm up, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, three rounds of 10 air squats and five push ups. Okay. If you were hoping to max out your one rep max bench today, it's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to keep the weight a little bit lower and you're really working up to um, what I would say is your probably your eight rep max. So the maximum weight that you can do for eight reps. And then you can do it for another two sets. Okay? Let's do it. When you get warmed up for the bench, just do a load of reps, empty bar. Um, focus on getting tight to the midline, so in the core. So. So uh, today what we're gonna focus on is lowering the bar under control to the chest and then pushing it away as fast as possible. Like you're shoving someone, like really, really pushing it away as fast as you can so you get to lock out. If you're going a wee bit lighter, what you don't want to do, um, like a lower percentage of your one max, what you don't want you to do is just fire your sockets, your shoulders out. I want you to keep the shoulders retracted and down so that when you fire up, you can then go straight back into the next rep without having to reset the shoulders. If you do have to reset the shoulders, go for it, but ideally don't fire your shoulders out of the sockets, okay? Okay, so went up to 50 there, um, which is 50% of one, my, my one rep max of 100, so it's, it's a low percentage really, uh, but today didn't feel like I was moving quickly with 50 uh, from the bottom. Felt like it, at the top out of the lockout it was fast, but not at the bottom. So I'm gonna skip it back down at 45, and I'm gonna do that for my three sets of eight. That's the bench done. Now to do the bit I'm really not looking forward to, which is the 5K run test. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Find 5K on a map, or if you know a 5K route, just go do it, or just run until Strava tells you you've done 5K. <laughs> you, you've got a few options there. Um, yeah, let's get after it. So, just finished the 5K. 
a few minutes ago, so that's a 31 minute or I think, I'll double check that on Strava. Um, it's pretty good actually. I felt the hamstrings from yesterday, but that's good. Uh, it shows that they're getting used and I'm running. You don't want to make you want to make sure you're not just using quads the whole way through. Uh, core felt switched on, which means I wasn't overloading the lower back, uh, which means I was staying well braced while I was running. So overall, pretty good. Not fast, but solid. So that's good. Uh, once you finish the run, make sure and mobilize the calves. There's a couple of ways you can do that. Um, I'd recommend find yourself a bit of a wall. Um, so come over here and prop your foot up against the wall and just start to lean in, okay? Um, if you've got something you can hold on to, you can pull yourself in closer to the wall, go for it. Um, bend the leg a little so you start to get into the into the other areas of the calf and the hamstring. Uh, I just spend a couple of minutes there on each one. Um, other things that'd be good to do is if you want to stretch out the chest, uh, a good way to do that is to lay your arm along a wall face it completely and then start to twist away shut up dogs uh, start to twist away and stretch the chest off there okay so you'll get into the pec get a little bit more range of motion in the shoulder uh, after you've done the bench especially okay um, hope today was good hope you did well post your times below if you did the workout um, and I'll see you tomorrow